A fresh inquest by the Queensland coroner is hoping to shed light on cold case murder of Toowoomba teenager Annette Jane Mason in 1989. Annette was found dead in the front bedroom of her Anzac RV home at 2 p.m. on November 19. The Brisbane coroner's court heard the 15-year-old died from brutal head injuries, believed to have been inflicted early in the morning while she was in or near her house. She was last seen at 3.30 and catching a taxi after a night out with friends. Speaking outside the court today, Annette's sister Linda Mason said her ultimate goal was to see someone charged. It's a long, hard fight but it will be well worth it to see an ending, she told reporters. Annette's death occurred before the new Coroner's Act was introduced in 2003 meaning State Coroner Terry Ryan will not have the power to compel a witness to answer questions during the inquest. Special Counsel Leanne MacDonald, whose firm Shine Lawyers is representing Annette's family, said she expected the proceedings to be lengthy. We need some answers, that's the end result, she told AAP. Ms. MacDonald lived in Toowoomba and was a few years younger than Annette when she died. She said the incident felt like a loss of innocence for the southeast city. It was a big country down back then, she said. It was a terrible thing that happened to her. An initial inquest in late 1991 could not identify a person responsible for Annette's death due to insufficient evidence. Since then there have been numerous coercive hearings held by Queensland's Corruption and Crime Commission that helped narrow the list of persons of interest. One of those hearings resulted in a 44-year-old woman being charged with perjury. However, prosecution of that charge was eventually unsuccessful. The new inquest is the result of Annette's family petitioning Attorney General Yvette Diaz to put fresh eyes on the case. It will now return to court for a further hearing on February 26 to determine how the matter will proceed. Meanwhile, a $250,000 reward remains on offer for anyone with information that could lead to a conviction for Annette's death. Anyone with information is urged to contact Crime Stoppers on 1-800-333-000. With AAP, watch the full news bulletin on 9 now. Copyright AAP 2017.